Hello dear friends, here I am at Stanford Museum and uh, I have a morning starting late so I enjoy some time <laughs> that we learn together. Okay, hello dear friends, here I am inside the Anderson Museum and uh, it's a uh, it's a modern art collection by the Anderson families. They have collected all these works and it comes to a point that they just uh, could not uh, put it uh, inside their house. So they donated to Stanford University and, uh, and make it into the museum collection part of the museum collection it is uh, it is just it's a family affair like they have said they are all prominent and influential artists the first time i came here i did not like it kind of uh, it's just not my taste as I keep on walking and walking as I kept on learning about art I start to be more interested and start to be able to understand so today what I will do is about one particular artist but to bring that particular artist into our view. We will start from something that is uh, from something chron chronologically or historically until we bring it in. So these are the modern artists and uh, when we go to modern art museum the good thing about it is that we can critique and uh, before I was always say I did not dare to look at it I did not dare to critique but this time I want to express my particular feeling at this particular moment I am disgusted I just disgust I dislike this kind of painting very big time I dislike this kind of painting and I saw this as Joan Mitchell and uh, when I first saw it just could not understand it how can someone just uh, damage a piece of beautiful canvas it might be very well prettier to be on canvas than putting this uh, trash onto it and this one is a, a, a very big artist Joan Mitchell so that was the expression impre uh, abstract impressionist of American art and there are some other art pieces from the same era this one is Edward Kelly. I am trying to find that piece of uh, trying to find this that piece of Jackson Pollock. Could not, but it's okay. We will eventually we will find them. <coughs> so, uh, Ma Agnes Martin. So. They started from the American art of abstract impressionist, but I would like to say it's abstract expressionist. It's so much express a particular feeling at that moment. I do not know Joan Michaud's life. I do not know if she has a good life, if she is living a stable life. But when you see this painting, 
you may very well think this is not a stable life's painting. It must be turbulent. Maybe because she has a very strong emotion or a turbulent life experience, but there is just so much trouble in this painting, so much trouble in this painting, so much uh, unharmony, and so much disturbance, so much interruptions, and so much conflicts and the struggles in this painting, right? And the painting becomes kind of meditation, kind of expression. You may ask, I have trouble also. Why not me do it? If I do it, it uh, my teacher will say me problem, my husband will get me in trouble, and my parents will get me in trouble. That part I do not <laughs> understand. But uh, it kind of, uh, imagine the old painting was, uh, the painting used to be pretty realistic and there was only one way to learn painting, to learn drawing, is to draw, 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 draw. Paint, 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 paint. And uh, until you get that perfect shape, if you think about it, it when you can do it, it is good. You can really express yourself. You can find your artistic outlet. But not so many people has this ability to paint something that perfectly correct and perfectly right. And so often time, what we want to do, we want to use this art media to express ourselves, right? So, finding a way to have the courage to do something totally different and uh, to do something against our usual way of thinking, that's the value of these artworks. So this one must be um, William de Kooning and here is a harmonious piece of artwork. And, uh, all these are quite uh, very famous and really um, This, that one is Jackson Pulock. Jackson Pulock, if I get it right. Oh no, this one is uh, Adele. This one is Jackson Pulock. Jackson Pulock, and his way of uh, he had a quite. Uh, as I heard, I didn't read about his story, but he had quite a, a turbulent life and struggled life and depressed. So his painting, but actually I like his painting. There is, uh, there is this anger, this struggle, but there is a harmonious and there is a, it's eye-pleasing quality of, of this piece of artwork. There are color here and there. It's kind of balanced at the end. Although he was struggling, although he was just pouring, pouring bucket of paints onto the piece, onto the canvas. But uh, he thought about it. What do you think, right? He really think about it, where to pour ink, where to drip ink, where to splash ink. And the end result is very eye-pleasing. Maybe this one is just too harmonious, he did not like, but um, I find beauty in this piece of painting. So these are the abstract 
impressionist or expressionist, and the artist use their use the art media to to make a statement. To what is the statement? I do not know, but at least what we can know is that the statement is: I am different from the old one. I am challenging the traditional way of making art. I am making art my way. You like it or not, I do not mind. I do it. I just do it, and this is the way of me to to channeling my anger, my energy, and to channel out to express myself. So here are some more of these paintings. I do not know the story behind it, but it's kind of.、Uh, I kind of like it. I will not buy it and、uh, put it in my uh, 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 bedroom. But、uh, it it has an eye pleasing quality, and this one also kind of eye pleasing quality, and that one is an interesting quality, and all this there are something interesting about it. Yeah, and here is another piece quite interesting. So here is this piece very interesting. The interesting part is about its texture, and it's pure paint, and just、uh, he must be painted with a scraper and、uh, put color on it. This one is.、Uh, If you close your eyes and see it, it's kind of a, a rain and a rush. That kind of, a, of see some of these works. I really, I really have very hard time to appreciate. This one is pretty, and.、Uh, It's hard to distinguish this one from the first grade students' work. This one has a lot of,、uh, a lot of uh, 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 skill and uh, and uh, painterly quality. I I like those kind of paintings very much. Maybe because I'm just too old styled. And here is Robert.、Uh, Arnison, I just love Robert Arnison. He's such an interesting person. Okay, now we come to the one why I come to the museum. This is what I want、so、to talk about. So I come to this museum in the morning before it's starting to look for this particular artist. His name is uh, uh, Frank Stella. And he's still alive. He lived in New York, and if you see his painting, and this painting from those expression,、uh, um, abstract expression, it becomes so cool and so calm. And those are painted with hand. It's not machine made. It's painted with hand. If you see, you can see some irregularity, a little teeny tiny little bit of irregularity of paints. But、uh, just imagine you you do this piece of work and、uh, and spend your day and days just doing one stroke at a time. First, it needs a lot of patience. Seconds, it needs. A lot of dedication, and third, it's very meditative. So when Frank Stella made those paintings, he was not yet famous. This was his early age painting, and one of the most famous of his painting is.、Uh, I see if I can add up,、um, if I can add in a, a, a video clip. It's just a square of black canvas with white lines. The canvas originally was white, and he painted everything black with some some lines,、uh, white. Leave some white not touched. So 
it's kind of uh, uh, the beginning of uh, optical art, op art. It makes you, it brings you to, it, it triggers your eye, your vision. I don't think he has uh, uh, originally thought it that way. A lot of time when we see painting, when we do painting, the idea grow as we paint. And here is uh, another piece, and this one. Thank you. And this one is one of the early age of his painting. And you can see, especially when I teach geometry now, and I find a great interest in this kind of painting. And uh, it's uh, so his idea was painting is painting. I do art. I calmly do my art. It's not about expressing expression, uh, ab uh, abstract expressionist or impressionist. I am just calm down and cool and cold heartedly or cool mindedly do some painting. So this one is done by pencil and uh, it's a study by pencil and the color pencil fill in the color. And this one yesterday, last night I have done this and it's, uh, it looks simple but it's quite I mind blogging and um, uh, where you get the connection, where you, you uh, break up the connection. It's all circles, circle lines and square lines, the interwoven of uh, these circle lines and square lines. It brings this interesting shape and uh, last night I have done it and it took me some time to figure out what, what, how to make this piece of artwork but uh, when you do it, it's very meditative on the other hand, it's also very, uh, very interesting you are figuring out a pattern and you are building up a pattern through doing it. I find a lot of interest. I, I want to do it with my student, this piece of art. Um, maybe they will not be able to understand, but once you tell them the story behind it, what is the story behind it? Art used to be like that. Like that. Expression so much expression. Now it's time to have a change. We need to move on to something new and different. Just coolly do some art. Do some very simple, very flat painting. It's flat. It's not 3D. It's just a piece of paper. It's a flat canvas, a flat paper. We are doing on it calmly and uh, and uh, and cool, right? We are just cool, just do this piece of work. You do not need to make that much statement. You do not need to make that much a big deal. It's just a piece of painting, okay? So with such a mentality, he developed this kind of artwork. And I found it interesting because it breaks our, our at least it's a turning point from um, from ooh, color splash all this into this cool and very uh, calm and very uh, very calculated art form right you really have to sit down and to to measure each point last night i did with a graph paper so i have to use two blocks here two blocks there the line the distance should be so it's very well calculated it's all calculated and he did this piece of work and that piece of work and um, at the later uh, well if you are an artist, whoever, you will be tired of doing something always the same. So he later on developed into this freestyle. 
These are the French curves I have a lot in my classroom. And I, I plan to do a piece of uh, sculpture or floated sculpture with my students. Cut up, cut out the French curve and uh, cut out the French curve and put in the color, whichever color you like. It could be very, very uh, regulated or it could be just f full of freedom. Art is about exploring. We, we are guided and see the big artists, how they have done, and then slowly move on to what we can do. I am sure, very, very sure, the finished work will be different from this one, will be very different. And that's the goal of art class. You inspire students with something that is already existing and uh, put your mind into the artist mindset, put your students mindset into the artist mindset and let them find freedom through, through well, it's okay to do this and that. It's not a big deal if I make it wrong. It's not a problem if I put color here and there, just just um, such a messy, messy piece. It's okay, it's okay. Because uh, what is art? Art is about, there is no definition of art. <laughs> Anything could be art. It's not because you are famous you make art. It's not because you, you, you have done art so you, your work can sell. It's not about it. It's about uh, finding your expression. It's about uh, it's about to liberate yourself from existing things. And it's about finding new ways, bringing, bring in, bring, bring in, in new things, bringing in new things, and uh, see our m modern life. Our life has so many different variety of uh, products. They all come from the very first artist who brave being cursed, being criticized, and uh, being shamed for doing something that is totally different and totally against of a usual science, sense of aesthetic, of a usual science, sense of art. Art is about challenging. Okay, here is the costume or costume design by Nick Cave. Here, when I first came here, I saw Nick Cave. It must be the singer, the Australian singer. I have seen Nick Cave in San Francisco War Field, but this one is not uh, uh, the singer. This one is a costume artist. and. Uh, it's just uh, so flamboyant, so interesting to bring all this, uh, uh, all these uh, uh, materials into it. I have seen this one, this same shape with a long, long, long head, with one eye in San Francisco. Uh, uh, Dion Museum. They have a collection of it. But when you think about it, how can you, how can you just uh, think to put uh, all these things in and imagine the work in it to to make such a piece. And uh, once you see it, you see it close up. Everyone is different, and everyone uses different material and brings up a new scene. This one, I do not know if he thought this way, but.
but there is plastic in it, plastic bees, plastic balls, and nylon, and uh, and this one is mostly uh, the knitted, um, the 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 Maoxian knitted, and this one mostly buttons, different kinds of buttons. What else can we do? And this one is. Um, is all the wools. If I say there must be something, so what else can we do? We can do feathers. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> it's a and this one is all these buttons. Button, button, button. Oh, Chinese abracas. Suan pan. I'm sorry, it's just uh, too much noise, must be. And uh, oh, this one must be a washing, uh, washing board for washing clothes. Oh, it's a window. And this one is all these buttons like scales. Also buttons. Last night, I've, I have done some of my uh, installation. You can put a piece of work. There is usually some real call on some of these pieces. Mm -hmm. So there is usually some real core pieces, and you can put it on. It will be quite interesting to make such a board and let the students do some experiment, kind of meditating and and uh, also very also very entertaining. This one, oh, shoe trees and branches. Whoa. That is such an extravagant costume design. Here is Anderson collection. There is a movie always turning on to introduce the artwork and introduce their family and uh, bookshelves. That only that one bookshelf is open bookshelf. So I come here very often from time to time to do some, um, do some readings. It's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. I am just uh, very lucky to to be able to have time and find such a beautiful place. When you live somewhere near a university, it's a, a blessing. It's a blessing. Wonderful. Enjoy your day. Beautiful sunshine.